changed up their starting lineup tonight? Well, kind of, did you have any idea that they might do that? And then how did you think you responded to that uh, change? I had no idea. Um, I just tried to you know follow our game plan and do whatever I could to help us you know play the best we could. Um, you know, whatever they did in their, in their line out, line out changing or whatever, I think it was, you know, to kind of try to take me out of the game a little quicker than, than they expected. But I think I responded well, uh, made really good plays, uh, good reads out of the double team, even in the second half, and try to get my teammates involved. Mark was talking about just overall decision making for everybody. How much of a concern was that? How much do you think that was a factor in the last four or five minutes or so for you? Um, I think it, you know um, games like that when it's you know it's really close and comes on to the end and you know you just gotta try to make the right play every time and obviously there will be situations where you know comes down to like falling or you know having to knock it down free throws like I said before and I think we you know we make really good decisions with the ball I think we didn't have a we had like one turnover like the first 15 minutes. Um, which is great, great, great signs for our team and how much better we're getting with the ball, taking care of the ball and stuff like that. Well, I don't know if you asked about the, the three-pointer coming out of the timeout. Mark said that that wasn't exactly the play that you guys were running. What, what was going through your mind? Did you see it had an open look and you felt good about your shot? I was open. Every time I'm open, I practice, I take the shot. So I'm open and I take the shot. There were a few moments late where you or Jalen kind of really gave you guys some momentum. Sorry, how, how frustrating was it to kind of have Seton Hall just stick around and keep keep making shots and keep coming back? Um, it was frustrating, you know. Um, but like I said, we just had to try to do a better job. And, you know, we knew we was going to get to the foul line and try to make like it on free throws. But, you know, they made a lot of free throws. We didn't. Um, we just got that's one thing we got to get back to. You know, we got to get enjoy this time and focus and get in the gym on our own, like I said, and make a lot of free throws and other shots that we take in the game and then just try to come back for the next game and move on from that. Consulting engineers. In the past five years, our organization has completed over 1,300 projects in the U.S. and abroad, including many structures at the University of Maryland. For structural engineering and materials testing and inspection, call Meyer Consulting Engineers. The free throws, when you, met, when you missed them, were, were key in terms of you were never able to sort of build that lead out. You know, maybe it was four points and it could have been seven or eight points. Yeah, for sure. I think it was a time where we had the four-point lead, and we, if, we, if we made the free throws, definitely we would have stayed at the, the, the lead a lot more. But, you know, like I said, we, we didn't make them, and the other teams here on how did a great job getting to the line and making the foul, the foul shots. So got to give, give them credits for that. And I was just like I said, we just got to get in the gym and start working on them. The fellow that was guarding you was as big as you or bigger. How, how does that work for you? And certainly didn't seem to slow you down tonight. Um, uh, I wasn't really, you know, worried about whoever was guarding me. I think I did a great job responding to whoever they threw at me. Um, uh, like I said, like the first half, whenever I could get a bucket, I would get a bucket. And second half, they tried to double team and take me away a little bit. But I think I did a great job finding my teammates and making plays and get everybody involved. How much more comfortable? I mean, you and Stick seem to have a very good chemistry in terms of see, looking for each other. You know, you had four assists tonight. I, I don't know if they were all the Sticks, but a couple of them probably were. How much more comfortable are you now going, you know, getting, heading toward the Big Ten season? Um, we're a lot comfortable. Um, like I say, it's a process and we take one day at a time, but I think we've been doing a really good, really good job of practice every day. You know, we're looking for each other whenever we get a chance. But also, we can't forget our guards. We got a lot of people who can score out in the perimeter, so we got to try to get them involved as well. But whenever we can try to make a place for either, you know, me passing to him or he passing to me, always works out well. On, 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 a, on a night like tonight, when you you seem to be scoring when you get the ball, you know, uh, unless you're triple teamed almost. Do you is it is it do you want the ball every time or do you know that you know you're not going to get it because they're going to throw those double and triple teams? Uh, right it's not really one. It's not. I wouldn't say I want the ball every time. I just you know it's whatever coach wants us to do, whatever play he wants us to run, I'll go with it. And it was times when I was scoring down low and he kept calling plays for me. But then we had to change up because it's our double team and stuff like that. That's what I said. It goes back to um, me um, being focused and out in patience and t just playing a good pace and making good decisions with the ball, trying to get everybody involved.